Hi, Booktube. Uh, today, because it's the middle of the day now, <laughs> where I live, I uh, I want to review. I want to make one of the most one of the most self-indulgent reviews I've ever made on this channel. Not because it's a book. Not because it's a book I wrote, but because it's a book where my dad is a character in the book. Yes, my actual father. So today I will be reviewing What the Orangutan Told Alice by Dale Smith, a rainforest adventure. So, yeah, you heard it right. So, my father's name is Willie Smits. Uh, should I give you his full name? Mm, maybe, not necessary. But, regardless, um, he is, he has a bit of a high profile amongst conservation circles. So, he has his own Wikipedia page. You can look it up. I will uh, give you his name in the description. So uh, look him, look up his Wikipedia page and you'll see what he's all about. Uh, so my dad has a high profile in, in, in uh, conservation circles and this uh, visiting author wrote a book uh, about conservation, about the environment. This is actually the sequel to um, a book called What the Parrot Told Alice, uh, which I did not read. But uh, anyway, so basically this is a, I believe the term is middle grade. I don't know what you, how you explain it, but it is a children's book, uh, which is also, by the way, illustrated. This one with, um, with photographs. Let me just uh, flip. Through you, flip through the pages for a sec. With photographs, it's illustrated. So, um, basically, the story is Alice's dad gets a job in Indonesia and they move to uh, Borneo, where Alice meets another another for another expat called Shane. Uh, and they're both 14-year-olds. Uh, and they, long story short, they embark on an adventure through the rainforest in Borneo. And learn lessons about, conserv about the environment, about the natural world. Now, uh, and they interact with the, a with the animals, with uh, going through, and... Uh, and going through the jungle, brushing aside plants, etc., the brush. But the weird thing is, the author had to resort to supernatural elements to uh, get his story across, which kind of cuts that uh, cuts down this uh, seriousness or the I don't want to say sincerity the which cuts down um, how seriously you can actually take conservation. So I did not like the supernatural uh, plot to it. My dad behaves in a most bizarre way in the book. My dad as a character. So they embark on this adventure, they encounter talking animals, time seems to stop, stand still for a moment, and when they come across my father, in the rainforest, he he behaves as if there's nothing strange with two white kids all alone in the jungle. He gives them directions and some preaching about conservation, etc., etc., and uh, directs them along the way to on their so-called quest. To uh, find uh, to find someone called the old man of the forest. So this book has a very uh, Lion, Witch, and the Wardrobe, uh, Alice in Wonderland, Wizard of Oz kind of feel to it. So it's very strange. Um, 
my dad did not like the way he was portrayed in the book, by the way. <laughs> Just so you know. Um, oh, I forgot my notebook. I have something very important I need to say. So, a better, um, a better book about orangutans and about uh, an adventure through the jungle would be a more recent book published in 2019. Also a children's book, by the way, called The Orangutan Rescue Gang by Joyce Major. That book is actually, yeah, is a more recent release and a more well-known one, a more popular one. So, look that book up. Look that book up. Um, how would I rate this book? Well, it's very, it's a very sincere attempt at um, teaching people about the importance of conservation and uh, protecting the rainforest and so on. And, and it is flattering that my, the country where I reside is written of in a novel. So, and it's even more flattering that my own dad is in there. There's an indirect reference to me in this book uh, where he says, Willie's children. So there's an indirect reference to me in the book. Um, so it is a very flattering book and for, so I kind of appreciate the effort. Another thing, by the way, I forgot to mention is that some of the statistics in the book are dated because this book was published in 2001 and subsequently we've learned a whole lot of new things like say it said there was only like 10,000 orangutans left in the wild when in reality there's more like 50,000 so the the information is dated uh so for for the un for the supernatural elements and for portraying my dad in an un in a strange way, and for the dated statistics, I would uh, it drops a whole lot of points. But for the flattery of and the sincerity of the effort, it gains points. So I'd give it a five out of ten. I wouldn't recommend it, even though my own dad is in it. Uh, so look up the Orangutan Rescue Gang by Joyce Major. That one's a better one. So yeah, there you go. Uh, and before I go now, and before I go, I'm gonna, I'm current. I want to tell you that I'm currently reading the Testaments by Margaret Atwood. This is the first, um, the first uh, book that I'm reading based on recommendations from BookTube. So this is the first book I really got because I started on BookTube. All these other books were from my own, my own love of reading, so to speak. Okay, uh, thanks for listening.